Hey guys, welcome to Tech Ed Online. Uh, on the 9th of the 9th of the 9th, I'm Andrew Dugdale and I've got Al Birchall here. G'day everyone. Um, some of you may know me as Dougie and Alan Birchall obviously is Al. Uh, we're here today to have a quick chat about, uh, well, WSUS, WSUS and all the things that are cool. What, what do I call it? WSUS, WSUS? WSUS, WSUS, yep. Windows Server Update Software, that thing that patches everything in your organisation that really helps you out to keep your computer secure. Okay. That'll do. Um, well, I guess more importantly, Al, tell us about you. What, what are you doing here at TechEd? Oh, thanks. Um, doing a presentation later in the week about group policies. Um, if you're familiar with WSUS, you probably use group policies to help you configure the clients with, uh, with the, um, the server. So uh, that's a, it's going to be a great session to come along to. But um, Okay, shameless product plug. When yes. is it? It's on Friday. Yeah, so, yeah. At? At no, 11.30. Okay, cool. And uh, you got a guest speaker all the way over from Seattle? That's right. We've got Lilia Gutnick, Program Manager from Group Policy, coming over. She's going to do a great session. We're going to do it together. So I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, cool. Uh, well, look, tell us all about WSUS. What can it do? Why should we do it? Why is it cool? Like, I know it's cool, but we need to tell these people why it's cool. WSUS is great. It's a product that you can use in your organization that Microsoft provides to you for free to patch all your computers uh, keep them up with the latest hot fixes, security packs, service packs, and even some tools and add-ons for a wide range of products, not just Windows, but Office, um, all the server products, SQL, Exchange, and there's just a list that goes on and on. I guess more importantly, Windows 7, it's hot on everybody's lips, and well, we want to deploy it, frankly, because it's, it's rock solid and it's cool. Uh, what, what support is there for Windows 7? How can it make our life easier? Yeah, well, WSUS 3 Service Pack 2 has just been released and one of the new features in WSUS 3 Service Pack 2 is Windows 7. So it now fully supports Windows 7. Uh, it also now supports Windows Server 2008 R2. So that's really important uh, for environments who now want to uh, start moving to the platform. While it hasn't been released yet, people can start planning and start testing for their environment. So they can start using Windows uh, Server 2008 R2 uh, right now. Um, it has a few other features with Windows Server 2008 R2 that it leverages. Uh, branch cache support. Oh, for us Aussies, yep, tell us all about it. How's this going to make our life easier? Yes, that's right. So, uh, in Australia, we uh, have a quite a geographically dispersed country and a lot of our sites that we might be supporting might not have much server infrastructure and the bandwidth for those sites would be pretty slow. So the branch Al, cache feature... you're out there, you see a lot of people in a lot of far-flung places. T typically, what's on a bad day, what's some of the links that you see out there? Yeah, well, you can see links down to, you know, 128K supporting maybe up to 100 computers, which when you're trying to deploy a patch to those computers, is, is really difficult to do. You're really just trying to fit that watermelon down the garden hose and it takes it's a long time. It's not going to happen. It's not yep. going to happen. Okay. That's right. So tell us more about that, more about branch caching. So branch caching is a feature that's with uh, the WSUS 3 Service Pack 2 that allows you to copy a patch to a site and the first workstation or computer or server in that site might get that the files for that patch. Once it's downloaded that patch, all the other workstations, all the other servers in that environment that might also need that patch will also will now download that file instead of from the central server, say in a head office, they'll download it from the other computer in, in the same subnet. So that's going to give you a massive amount of bandwidth savings uh, and it just allows you to, to deploy patches far quicker than you previously were able to do. Okay, well that, that sounds like a, a clear winner for us. Uh, what else? What else is new? What, what's good? What's going yeah. to rock our world? So in Service Pack 2, there's some new, uh, some slightly tweaked reporting functionality. Um, one of the things that some people noticed when they moved to WSUS 3 was that the number of patches that their computers were reporting as needed uh, had gone up, and that was because of the way the changing of the, of the, the number of patches that uh, the way it was reported. So there's been a slight tweak in that, so that a patch that uh, might not have been approved. Uh, in a report won't necessarily come up in, uh, as needed, which helps you gauge much uh, more accurately the patch compliance levels of computers in your environment. 
So better reporting, looks better, keep management happy? Yeah, the, the, the more green there is in those pie charts, the better the management okay. are and the happier they are because they think you're doing your job well. So that's really good. Uh, okay, I'm hooked. I want to know more. Uh, where do I go? I mean, what websites, what blogs? Um, where should I go? What should I know? How do I get started? Well, getting started, there's heaps of resources online. Um, you could also... Um, there's, there's a few other, you can learn about a few yep. other features that are coming in Service Pack 2 yep, as well. Tell me more, what can yep, I find? Yep. So the, the more, there's the more features that are coming. Um, there's an automatic approval rule coming, uh, which is a new feature. Oh, so no more scripts, no more hacking, just lots of... Well, yeah, well, yeah, along those lines. So basically, if you like to automate the patch deployment in your environment, and you just want to trust that those critical secure updates that Microsoft push out, you just want them to get pushed out you know, at a certain, certain number of days after they've been released by Microsoft, you can now say, when critical patches come down, make sure that those patches have been set a deadline so that you really force those patches to come out within a de predetermined period of time. So you could say, if a critical patch comes down, within seven days, that patch must be installed on all your machines by setting a deadline. Okay, awesome. So there's a few other things that, that WSUS 3 Service Pack 2 supports got better IPv6 support, so now that environments are moving to IPv6 networks. You can take advantage of that good stuff, yep. Yes, yep, so there's slightly better uh, support for that. And on the client, there's a new uh, Windows uh, update agent uh, for um, machines. It's with Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2 already, but for the downstream, the older clients, there'll be a new agent, and it's basically got quite a number of performance enhancements there and detecting what patches are required on a machine. Okay, so what's some, what's the word from the coalface? I mean, you've been out there, you've seen people looking at this, evaluating this, uh, checking out, what have you been hearing? What, uh, what are people thinking? People really love WSUS. Uh, besides the fact that the name is a little bit hard to, yes. to, to say, they really love it. I mean, organisations with 10,000, even 100,000 computers are using it. And other organisations with only maybe five or ten are using it as well. It's really a great tool to manage the, the way you deploy patches in your organisation. Okay, cool. So, if you want to get WSUS 3 yep. Service Tell Pack us more 2, about it. yep. So, with Windows Server 2008 R2, you only need to go to your server manager and add it as a role. That'll install all the required pre um, prerequisites for, for um, WSUS, such as the IIS components and stuff like that. For older, uh, older versions, if you want to download it, go to downloads.microsoft.com, mm -hmm. just search for WSUS, and you should be able to find just from there the, the version. Cool. Uh, and blogs, shout out to blogs, resources, what else would you recommend looking at? Uh, um, other than that, just, just go to the Microsoft uh, website, yep. look up WSUS from there, have a look at their pages, and, uh, and, and just start getting the product and, and just playing with it and just testing it in your test environment and really just uh, experimenting with it because it's really a great product. Okay, cool. Uh, Al, is there anything else that you can think of? No, that's just about it. Other than that, we're having a great time at Tech, uh, Ed, Tech here, Ed yep. here in Australia. You've, you're doing a couple of sessions. Yes, my session is on the same time as Al's session. Uh, uh, it's all good stuff. Come to my session. Yeah, you can go to his session. Or go uh, to his. Or come to my session, whatever works. Um, guys, look, thank you very much for your time here on uh, TechEd Online and uh, looking forward to catching up with you soon. Cheers, guys.